everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Abby. Welcome to my beautiful Balmain, Balmain, whatever you want to call it, bag unboxing, review, closer look. I'm very, very excited about it. If you've watched some of my videos before, you may be thinking, where am I? What is this background? What is going on? Uh, I did delve into it a bit deeper in my Christmas, what I got for Christmas 2022 video. If you haven't seen that, go and give that a watch. There's some beautiful things in there. So yeah, I did discuss it a little bit more, but basically the short version is uh, I'm in the middle of moving at home or like the family home is in the middle of moving, changing. So currently, this is a temporary setup. This is the best that I could find in this current living situation. This is not the new house. So once I get moved in, once that's all renovated, sorted, beautiful, then I'll have a lovely, beautiful new setup and that will be very exciting. But this is what we've got for now. The phone's wedged in the middle of the blinds. I'm recording on my iPhone because I left my camera back at uni. So we've just we've just got to deal with what we've got, people. Make use of what we've got. So I hope that that is okay. I hope this is sufficient and I hope it's going to be able to show you the beauty of this bag regardless of camera, setup, background, everything like that. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So the story behind this bag, I actually found this on a whim, me and my mum found it. But when we found it first, we were kind of on a little bag explore. We were looking for various different types of bags. We were just seeing what stuck out to us, what stuck in our mind. Sorry, I'm very distracted because there's a cat just running around outside just exploring the street and it's catching my eye. It's so cute. So with this one, this one stuck in our mind for quite a few months. Um, we actually saw it in Selfridges, but we did not originally pick it up because as I said, we were on the explore, we were seeing which ones we liked, which ones stuck in our head. So months later, I don't know how many, how many months later, um, we went back into Selfridges to purposefully get this bag. And as I suspected, it was not there, but we did describe it to the assistant in the shop and they went to check and they said, no, we don't have any. And then I found it on the website and they were like, yeah, okay, no, yeah, we definitely don't have any of that, but you should check the Balman store. So I did a quick little Google to see where this Balman store, or where the closest Balman store was. So we went there. I mean, it might have taken like a 15, 20 minute walk, something like that. It wasn't too far. So we went to whichever store that is near Selfridges of Balmain. Yes, yeah, so we went in and we again showed the picture of this bag. Couldn't see it anywhere in the shop. And they were like, oh no, we don't have it. However, we can try and order it in for you. If you give us your details, then we'll, we'll order it for you. So we left there, we were like, hmm. And then we sat on some little benches or something outside the shop, not directly outside, but we had a little wandering. We were like, oh, I really like that bag. We really want it. And it seemed to be like nowhere to be found, but it was like right there on the website. Um, and like in the shop, she was like, oh yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to get it, but we might be able to order it for you. If you leave us your details, I'll see if, I'll see what I can do for you type of thing. And, I literally sat on the bench outside and order it, ordered it online, like easy. So I was very, very confused as to why the assistant in the Balman shop could not order it from their own website or like source it from their own website in the shop at that time. So yeah, we, we managed to order it online anyway, hence it's come in this brown box. And then a few days later, the woman, um, contacts us and she's like oh yeah i'm really sorry but unfortunately we can't source that bag at all for you and we're just thinking 
we've ordered it babes we've got it we've got it and you haven't been able to get it even though you worked with our man and it's on your website okay this this doesn't add up this doesn't make sense but alas she's here she took some getting here but she's fine i mean i'm kind of glad we've ordered it online because look at this look at this box it's just stunning i mean i kind of want to keep the box just for this gorgeous print inside it's just oh it's just like yes yes please thank you for not just being a boring brown box thank you so much so here is the little beauty in her beautiful case her little box that she comes in i'm gonna move you away because you don't need to be here anymore my friend i i just really appreciate that this comes in a box because some bags that you get don't um was it my prada my prada didn't come in a box she just came in a dust bag my burberry didn't come in a box just came with a dust bag um my gucci came with a box but yeah i just feel like when you've got such an expensive bag a box is needed for like storage or i don't know i mean i know it's for ease like you don't want to take a box around everywhere that's why you've got a dust bag but i mean come on to protect it especially so other brands take note i don't own anything from balman so this is the first and let's just open her up oh she's so pretty it's a good box as well you know like sometimes you get naff boxes that are like dented and damaged and everything like that this is sturdy and strong and i appreciate that balman thank you so much so she came like this with a little ribbon tied up so she wasn't smacking around the box everywhere i have already undone the sticker so that it wasn't going to make a massive crinkly sound when i was doing this video um and i also wanted to check that it was the right bag before i started unboxing it because that's the worst thing when i don't think i've had it happen with anything particularly expensive but it's like when you order a McDonald's or a takeaway or something where they give you it in a bag and you get home and you open it and it's just the wrong order and it's just the worst thing ever. So I, I already did it to check for you guys and for myself so that my disappointment wasn't reeking out of the screen. So she comes with, she's a she now, she's a she. It comes with this little card an envelope from Balman, just from the website team, just thanking you for your order. And then it comes with another larger envelope, which has the return slip if you want to return it and just what you ordered. Have I said what the bag is yet? Have I said? I don't think I have, have I? Well, you probably knew what it was because it's in the title of the video, so that's fine. So this bag is the B Army shoulder bag canvas logo in khaki noir. So there you go. It might have taken 10 minutes to get to this point where I tell you actually what it is, but we got there in the end. So she comes with her own little dust bag, of course. Let's just pop the little box over here and let's get it out nice quality dust bag as well Ooh, are you ready are you ready are you ready okay oh she's stunning look oh yes 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 oh my goodness so here she is i'm gonna bring her up closer to the screen so that you can see her in all of her beauty. We've still got the little um, label attached, but I will just have to cut that off. Yes, I love her so much. So, details of this bag. She obviously comes in this kind of khaki canvas material. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like, it's not a solid colour it's like woven khaki so there's some lighter bits there's some darker bits i love this because i've got nothing like it at all and 
the logo is it's not it's not printed on, I don't believe it is part of the canvas itself. And then we have some leather edging to the bag and a leather strap. And we've got gold hardware as well with this gorgeous chain on the bag there and um, a little zip which has Balmain on it, Balmain on it and some other little gold detailings on the strap there. First of all, I absolutely love the shape of this bag. I think it's perfect. I, the size of this bag is just, is just perfect. For me, I'm not a massive bag person. If I had a massive bag, like you know those massive like sack, they're not a sack, but I can't remember the name of them. They're like big, squishy, moldable sack bags from like Louis Vuitton or like the huge um like shopper bags from Dior or anything like that a huge bag I just wouldn't have the use for it it's not me at all but this kind of I mean it's not mini but I wouldn't really say it's like a medium-sized bag either I'd say it's like in the middle of like small to medium i just think it's perfect like this is the perfect style of bag for me because i think i think my big purse because i've got a, a large quite a large burberry purse because i like i like a big purse because i like to fit everything in it i think that would fit in here comfortably but also when when i'm not needing to take my big purse out I could just pop a little purse in there, put a card in, put a bit of cash, and I would be able to fit the rest of my makeup in, say for a night out or something like that. I absolutely, I'm just, I love it. And I love this shape. I've got nothing like this shape because I tend to like a bag that has a long strap or can have the option of having a long strap, but this does not come with a longer strap, my friends. This is the way that she comes and I really don't have any or many like this at all. But I think that's good because I think when I started with my designer bag collection, I think I was looking for things that I needed, or not needed, that's silly, things that I would use and wear the most. And now that my collection is kind of expanding, I'm like, I have the, the space and the room for more special or unique or different things that I don't have. I mean, I'm not it's not really daring or anything like that. It's not. I feel like this would go with everything. But like the, the chain and the shape and the khaki, uh, I just think it's di it's different enough for me. I think when you are spending that much money on items, you do need to be able to wear them with as many things as possible. And I think this is, is a good option for something that's a staple and a classic and will go with lots and lots of things, but it isn't all black. Oh, and what I did want to say was she comes like this. So the strap's kind of in the middle of all the options, but you can shorten it to be like a, a tiny little handbag. I mean, I would totally walk around with it at this length, just holding it in my hand as a little as a little handbag, but you can totally um, shorten that even more so that it's more of a little a little strap and a little handbag which is super cute and I don't feel like it's too big or too silly to do that with. And you can also lengthen it a little bit longer if that's what you prefer. I mean, with it round my shoulder like this, I mean, it fits perfectly. It's very nicely like clutched into my my shoulder, my arm there. Like I am, I'm, I can cling onto that very nicely. Whereas if you want a bit more room, you could definitely lengthen it a bit more, but like, isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Like, I love it so much. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. I, I, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. So inside, 
Ooh, the zip is still a little bit stiff because e she hasn't obviously been used or anything yet. We have a little bit of paper to remove, but the inside of it is is bare. I mean, you don't you don't really want or need or expect lots of compartments in a bag like this because there's not really there's not really room to do so. But there is a tiny I don't know if you can see a tiny little card pouch here which you could put something separate in if you don't want to take a purse um but yes just thought i'd show you the inside there i'm gonna put the tissue back in to keep her plump so i have a feeling that i am going to wear this bag to death it's just cute and like trendy but also classic i i, I just absolutely love it i really 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 love it and I, I think you can tell. I don't know if it's obvious. I don't know if I've said it yet. I don't know if I've said it yet, but I do love it. She's light but weighty in terms of like, you can tell that she's good quality and that she's going to be sturdy. So with that being said, that is the end of this video. You can go back in your little bag now. Over there, my darling. I'm so sad. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.